Welcome back. Joining us in studio right now, we have Sherry with Miles Perret Cancer Services. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. So today we're talking about prevention and early detection. That's right. Um, you know, far too often, you know, um, we as humans, we get busy with life yeah. and, um, you know, often wait till the last minute or wait till symptoms are really strong mm -hmm. before, you know, we start seeking medical care and, um, and really learning about our overall medical health. Yeah. And so, um, you know, this month we're focusing on the importance of uh, learning family medical history and how that helps aid with prevention and early detection of disease and um, things such as cancer. Yeah, and so one of the big things that we were talking about during the break is kind of family history. Why is that so important? Well, it's it's super important, you know, not just for us as individuals, but also for our children, for our grandchildren, and even for healthcare providers, you know, by mm -hmm. asking a few key questions and really getting to know your family's history, it helps your healthcare providers um, decide maybe certain screenings that they can do for you early or certain genetic testing that could help lead to an mm -hmm. early diagnosis or, or prevent certain things um, and catch them before it's too late. Yeah, so what should family members kind of ask for in something like this? Well, and you know, and we know, again, we get busy with life yeah. and that's probably one of the last things you, you think about is to sit down with mom or dad or grandpa and you know, sometimes I'm sure it could be a little awkward trying yeah. to ask overall family history, but um, for us, we stress that it's important to have those questions ahead of time. You know, it could really be a five to 10 minute conversation. Um, in regards to cancer, um, some of the, the things that we think is super important is learning who in your family has had cancer, mm -hmm. what kind of cancer did they have, how old were they when they were diagnosed? Yeah. How are they doing now? And then of course, um, if there are any other disease or illnesses that run in your family. Yeah. Um, those are really important questions just for an overall look at your family's medical history. And then you can ultimately take that to your doctor too. And like you said, screenings earlier, all that stuff. Is there anything else that people at home can do for early detection and prevention? really starting that dialogue with your health care providers. I mean, again, you know, oftentimes we wait till we're, we're hurting yeah. or we're having certain symptoms to start looking into them and trying to find the problem. Or you might not think that's a symptom or it's not that serious. Absolutely. But knowing that family history and really taking that to your provider, that would be like the next step. And then, mm -hmm. of course, um, from there, you know, you can kind of lean into, you know, those symptoms or lean into that family history and really um, help, you know, catch things early. Mm -hmm. I love these conversations. They're so important to Absolutely. have. Absolutely. If people at home have any questions on Miles Perrette Cancer Services and the things that you guys do in the community, where can they go? They can visit our website at milesperrette.org. Of course, follow us on our social media pages. We always have different tips and mm -hmm. uh, different things going on um, throughout the month. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Of course. If you guys want to rewatch this, head to our website, kdn.com. But up next, it is Mutt Monday.